Okay. Uh, no, so Laura, your character checks in in this in this uh, Hallmark movie, checks in to the hotel, yes. and there's been a, there's a problem. There's a problem because it's not even no, it's a problem. Rum, it's just it's a, a problem. Rum. <laughs> it's a yeah, problem. It's yeah. a problem. <laughs> and we like Scooby Doo. We we rent um, a house actually. So me and my yeah. dog Frank, you know, I'm sort of kind of in a place of stuck in a rut of normalcy, sort of just yeah. complacent. I just graduated college about a year ago, and I'm working for my parents at their accounting firm. But there's so much more that I want to do, and so I decide to take a vacation. And I go with my dog Frank, named after Frank Sinatra, and we decide to go rent a house in this beautiful little town of South Haven in Michigan. And we rent it on GoBnB, like our play on Airbnb. And we find out that there's been a mix-up. And then Spencer Hodkins, who is played by Wyatt Nash opposite me, he has come with his cat, Mozart. And we both don't realize. And then he's drinking my wine. And I'm like, you're drinking my wine. And it's like, obviously, you don't do that. And we start at, we sort of just like try to figure out how to make it work because there's no other place that we can rent in town. Sure. Uh, and it's they, time they double booked your yeah. rental. Yeah, they don't, exactly. Going on there. But we actually have a clip okay. where we find out that your vacation is not quite going as planned. So let's take a oh, look. Oh, no. Okay. Would you like to tell me what you and your dog are doing here? Look, all I know is that I rented this house for spring break. See? I had to fill out this whole questionnaire. And then I go out to walk my dog, and I come back, and I find you here drinking my wine. I picked it up on the way here. Oh, I thought it was a gift from the rental company. Mm -mm. I filled out the same questionnaire. Starting today. Starting today. <laughs> Obviously, there's been some sort of mistake. Obviously, but I don't know how. It was a very personal questionnaire. They seem to have every other detail covered. I mean, favorite color, favorite food, favorite movie. What did you answer for food? Italian. Me too. Favorite movie? Casablanca. Me too. Yeah. You know, I, they say don't work with animals or kids, right? I mean, and here you have two animals that you're working with this in this movie. I know this about, because I've been on many movie sets and I've seen the animals that yeah. work in these movies and they're just Precious. They're so They're precious. so and they wonderful. They work their butts off. They, they work do hard. work. Yes. But 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 as an actor, I know uh, what I've seen is how the actors really spend time with them because they do want a bond to form yeah. between Absolutely. that person. Did you have that bond with? We did. I with Frankie. Oh my gosh, with Frank. Yes, his yeah. name was Billy in Frank. real life, and I didn't want to leave him. It was so it was so sad. He had wrapped. It's funny saying that about a dog, but he had wrapped the oh. scene before oh, I did. He's, so he's cute. no, I fell in love with him. Oh. He's so cute, and I still had one more scene to do. And it was like our, like pretty much like our biggest scene in the movie. And I just started crying because I hugged him. And I'm not like really a crier, yeah. but I just went to hug him. And I just started sobbing. And then my sweet makeup artist, Tracy, was like, Cassidy, stop it. Like, you can't do this. And I'm like, I know, but I just wanted to hold on to him. That and I'm like, so sweet. I know, he was adorable. And they always say that, you know, it adds a little bit of time, but it also adds so much heart to it, too. Yeah. So it's worth it. You know, there's That's always. The, you want that connection. Yeah. You know, you they're do. actors, too. He, they you all, know? Yeah. And you can tell if the dog's guy. like, yeah, I'm done with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cat. Yeah. And that wasn't the first time he saw you cry, right? You guys actually shared like a really sweet moment. Yeah, we did. It was actually right before that, a few days before, um, during a scene, I had been, had to jump on the bed and start crying. And then when we, right, when I jumped on the bed, he wasn't prepared for it. And he just started licking me all over my face. And he was only supposed to stay there and look at me, but he like felt it and he like wanted to make me feel better. And he like jumped up on me. I wish he had done it the whole movie because I kept trying to get him like with my like treats and stuff. And he'd only come with like treats because <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how he's trained. So apparently it took having like a mental breakdown or well, crying. That's <laughs> you're acting, that he Thank really you. felt you, the no, dog felt I will you. tell you this because I've two at the house and Fred specifically, because because you know, boy, my boys went through yeah. a transition in our home, and he was right there by them. He could sense when they yeah, weren't they feeling well or where they were sad, and he's yeah. always right at their feet. They're so, so dogs, in tune. They really, they really pick up on yeah. on those. Well, uh, I think I just the, the emotions. They sense Absolutely. so much more than than what we're used to giving out. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, and so, you're beyond just a, a dog lover, correct? I love you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you are always like doing all kinds of things. And well, you actually have an interesting story about um, uh, your brother. Yeah, your brother. Don't you guys like live together? Oh, yes, we do live together. And he's very much like Wyatt. Who he's your, like yeah. the character. Yes, they're very similar. My brother's very studious and very regimented. And, is he yeah. a cat per Does he have a cat? No, oh, we're all allergic There you guys cats. are. You're all Yeah, that's him. What is that, a oh. stuffed bear? That, I still have her. That's Patty. <laughs> <laughs> She's a dog in a bear suit because she like has a lot, a lot of plastic <laughs> surgery. She's a mess, but I love right. her.
<laughs> so I feel like I've seen Cody, <laughs> that picture of you and Cody, like from years ago, because yes. of your mom. I'm sure she probably has shared that on TV <laughs> at some point or another. She is your biggest fan. You know yeah, that. We all know that, and we yeah. love her oh, here at Hallmark. Um, I imagine she has uh, loved you even more now that you're doing family, a family natured film yes. and not off being stabbed somewhere in the woods or something? Yes, I have died in pretty much everything <laughs> I've ever done. She's like, can you please do one thing that you don't die in? And it's like, oh, okay, Hallmark. Yeah. And you guys are just awesome. Like everyone, you know, with the network, you guys have such a such a vision for it, and that's why, you know, that's yeah. why you guys are doing so well and the ratings are so far up as they are because well, it's not, yeah. Yeah, people yeah. are hungry for some goodness. That's well, right. I take we full right responsibility. <laughs> yes, yeah. all you. I will take full credit for that. Just, uh, it's <laughs> nice to do something that our moms can watch. And our, exactly. <laughs> our, it's true. Our grandmothers. Yeah. Right? Exactly. And you, exactly. even before acting, though, you've been like indirectly in the spotlight for a while now, right? Yes. Like your mom would always share kind of embarrassing yes. stories. I'm live with Regis and then on yes. the Today Show now. So what is one story that like sticks out as, oh, that was oh, yeah. rough? Oh, yeah. <sighs> there are so many, but probably on like that scale, like the biggest was when I was still at USC and I had just flown, it was around this time, so it was about four years ago. I'm getting old, about four years ago, but I like, I was flying back and um, from Easter and I flew back to LA from New York and I wasn't thinking about the time difference, it had just been spring forward, so I decided to call my mom and she just happened to have her flip phone, she it was before iPhone, which was like the worst thing to happen was we gave her an iPhone. And she had her little <laughs> flip phone and they were doing a segment and she was on air and I didn't know, I was just calling to say good morning, going to class, like love you. She answered and she was like, oh, I'm on air and she t flipped her phone around to the camera and my number was right on the screen. So like I didn't really realize and I like hung up, I was like hi, like bye, hung up. And then I started getting like all these creepy texts. They started like my phone all of a sudden. They were like, but the first one was like, you're on air, by the way. Like, like go kill your mom. Like, you're so angry. Oh, like, wow. And I was like, oh, oh my gosh. I feel like I remember that. <laughs> I had to change my number. It was like. You were yeah. texting her yeah. after <laughs> the phone. After sending the messages. I was wrong. It was her. Oh, I was all into it. Was that like a number you've had for a long time? For a long time. Oh, I would have been so upset. I know. I, know. I had had it forever. And it was, I mean, it's OK. It was just funny. Yeah. It was like, mom. And she was like, and she felt so bad. And it's like. Well, your your mom is a smart lady, not so smart uh, doing that, but I know that she really has a great relationship with yeah. you guys. No, and to help cool. gel that relationship even more, and you guys get together this weekend to watch the movie, we have something that I think is going to be very appropriate. Now, we, oh we thought maybe, wow. you know, she would give this to us, but we had to go out and buy it. So this is your mom's wine. Oh so gosh, it's, you can take so this. Sweet. You, Thank you, you so hold much. That on, hold that on your lap oh because it's very heavy. And Thank you so fall. much. Careful. Yeah. No, no. 